this is Judy Bible Smith with Endless Impressions Painted Faces. Tonight we are going over our apprenticeship kit. This is the training head or practice head that we use. We also have an album of pictures for our practice sessions. We carry a plastic theatrical makeup container kit that opens. Inside we've applied Velcro and our theatrical makeup is in rectangular containers. We have solid containers, we have split containers, and we have multi-loaded uh, containers. We have matte, we have pearlized, and we have neon. These colors are essential to do all of our photo array. In addition to the theatrical makeup, we also use the stones and the cosmetic glitter for the little girl's faces. It's a must. We also carry the hair ties and bobby pins to take care of the hair issues. We also have the hygiene products that we bring, the uh, baby wipes, the hand sanitizers, and the Q-tips. The Q-tips are great for making dots, cleaning up uh, small mistakes, and also applying the lipstick to the little girls. We also bring water in a container so it's readily available. We have our water basin, which we wash our brushes in, and we have a water mister to apply the makeup. We also have a variety of brushes and the most commonly used brush for face painter is a round, uh, especially number four, low crenelle. Also, a filbert or a chisel and a flat is a must for a kit. We also have the round sponges in a whole shape and then we have some that we've cut in half. The whole ones we can pick up large amounts of the theatrical makeup to apply the face speedily. The half ones we can load in the multicolors at one time and apply that as well. We have the sponge pouncers which is great for speed designs and circular designs. We carry with us a mirror and all the products will fit into our kit which is on wheels and a telescopic handle. It will hold up to 100 pounds. And these are all the items that we use for apprenticeship training kit. So if you have any questions, please contact us at www.knoxvillefacepainting.com. Thank you.